It's Adam, Alex and Douglas from Spellbound. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good, thank you. I'm guessing it's been somewhat of a whirlwind since you actually won the show. Uh, yeah, it's been absolutely phenomenal. Um, and it's just go, go, go at the moment. I mean, we've got a lot of uh, hard training still putting in towards the tour. So, yeah, it's so just been working hard, doing lots of different interviews. And we our feet haven't really uh, touched the ground yet, so to speak. <laughs> Quite literally with all that flying around that you do. <laughs> <laughs> so how has life changed then for you guys since you won the TV show? Yeah, well, basically, I mean, straight after the show, the next day, it was all press conferences, TV appearances. So even that was, that was straight for us to be doing all those back to back straight afterwards I mean on the night of the show we had Usher speak to us um, and he said that he wanted to do some work with us and there's been rumours out there about stuff in Vegas and because that was um, one of the things that come to mind like for to me actually when I saw you guys with all the flying around that you do and your act it would fit perfectly into Vegas and ve there's a lot of money in Las Vegas if you can get there yeah. I uh, know that would just be an amazing experience for us I mean to go over to America, America would be brilliant I mean I've never been to Las Vegas but I've always wanted to go and uh, I think that um, I know that America have um, spotted us over, over YouTube and everything so that would be amazing and of course if you do go to America you've got the perfect backup haven't you in Simon Cowell who is Mr America He's the, the, <laughs> I think he's the most popular man on TV over there he's got a lot of influence how was Simon to, to deal with he's a, he's a really nice guy actually I mean he's sort of seen us uh, before we were going on the shows and everything and wished us luck and told us not to fall over uh, all the judges are really I mean they're all sort of um, milling about backstage Amanda was there asking for photos uh, which was a bit strange that she was asking yeah. us and not the other way around and yeah they, they, uh, they're all they're all really nice just down to earth normal people really see that's the vibe that I always get back everyone I speak to about Sam and Cowell all say the same thing I mean you see this Mr Nasty on TV but behind the scenes he seems to be a great mentor and a great person to work with uh, just a really nice guy and really down to earth and he is someone that everybody sort of like looks up to he has sort of got a bit of an aura about him like a godlike aura about yeah. him but at the end of the day, yeah, he just sort of came to us, spoke to us like normal people. Um, he seemed genuinely interested in all of us. So, I mean, he's, yeah, nice guy. He was quite critical, though, wasn't he, of this series of Britain's Got Talent? But one thing I did notice when you guys first appeared, and I was watching it back before on YouTube, the, the amazement, the looks of amazement on his faces, because quite often he won't let his guard drop, but you could see he was quite clearly impressed, as were all the other judges, with the stuff that you guys were doing. Did that straight away, when you saw that back yourself, did you think to yourself, you know what, we could be in with a chance of this? When we entered the show, we, we never really, we never expected that to, to win it at all. Not even right up until the last minute before they announced our name. But obviously, the, the reaction from the judges was something which we were hoping for, which, but we didn't know we were going to get. But yeah, once you see his face, where he's sort of mouth wide open watching yeah. what we're doing, um, was quite a great feeling, really. You mentioned as well then about him saying, you know, make sure you guys don't fall. That must happen quite a bit because some of, it's death to find some of the stuff I've seen you guys do on TV. I'm I'm sat there going, wow, how, how I, you know? I just I I panic sometimes, bringing home some bottles of wine from the shop that'll drop it and smash <laughs> him everywhere. You guys that were flying around like torpedoes. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, a little secret we'll let you in on that the moves that we actually did for the show um, were uh, quite easy for us. Oh, um, yeah. We actually, when we compete for Great Britain, we do much more difficult moves, um, which then we really have to concentrate on. And uh, you know, and seeing Simon's face when we watched it back was just in was just incredible to think because when we were on the stage we didn't really get to see that, and uh, he did say he did give a comment of I just expected it to be another boring gymnastics routine, so uh, and we we were really glad to prove him wrong. So with regards to what the dangerous element to, to what you do, you just mentioned then we didn't even see some of the, the most death defying stuff on Britain's Got Talent. Come on, how how many times have you actually had any falls in that group, or are you all quite safe? We're all we're all pretty safe, really. We, we're trained, like especially the guys underneath. Obviously, we're throwing the little ones, but obviously, if they if anything was to go wrong in the air, we're basically. I love the we, way you say that, by the way. We're throwing the little ones. It's like that's your job title. Yeah, I throw the little people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're basically trained to to catch them no matter what. So if they come down at the the wrong angle or they it, it, it went higher or lower than what it should do, we always have to make sure we're there before they they hit the floor so we don't really have too many major accidents at okay. all, really. well you went on to, to win the TV show there was a 100 grand prize attached to that now there is quite a few of you in the group spellbound so I'm guessing yeah. you've, had, you've had to divvy that out quite a bit but have you spent any of the winnings yet? No, no. <laughs> we haven't ever seen the winnings yet. <laughs> but um, definitely, I think uh, I think some of us have already made plans on what we're going to do with the money. I think there's some people going on holiday, and I think uh, Edward wants a new car, things like that. 